All right, welcome everybody. This is our call for the, all of the Milkwist team. I know lately for the last few months, we've kind of, since we have our own diamonds now with Katie and Suzanne, we've been doing a lot of smaller stuff, but wanted to just really pull everybody together since we just came out of our first U.S. international convention. I'm really breaking into this market and um, just pull everybody together. Now, I don't want to spend too much time recapping the announcements because between the president's update on Monday and Taylor Worries, um, corporate update today, which was phenomenal, and it'll get emailed out to you. We have all that. I just want to touch on a few things and make sure you guys really understand how relevant that is and that impact it's going to have on us going forward. And then also give the opportunity to kind of dig into any of it if anybody has questions or anything on it. And then kind of what we've decided for the next 90 days, what we're going to do um, and kind of what we've came together to figure out to do to help support the team also going into the next 90 days. So for those that don't see this guy too often, this is my husband, Sam, and some of, for some of our newer teammates, just went to the convention. What were your thoughts on your first? I've gone to all the events myself because yeah, he's back with the kiddos. So. so this was my first major event going to it. Um, What's my biggest takeaway? Is what you're saying? What was it, what was it coming? You always heard my me coming back like, oh, and uh, now you got to go. Yeah, my biggest takeaway. Hopefully, everyone knows about it already, though. But it's um, just making that like TD factory, that team developer factory. So that's um, you know, coming into that training and, and and that being the focus and and just concentrating on building up team developers. I think it's really going to surge a lot. Uh, in our entire team it's just it'll help get new people active and engaged and it's going to just keep it flowing i think um continually um, this stuff with Kieran and Ramasio finally for the first time live um was great motivating which is going to is kind of why we're jumping on here too because i was kind of inspired by uh inspired by moss so um we'll get to that later I'll, I'll let leah talk here first so i muted everybody out too just so we can have a good recording but this definitely doesn't mean i don't want to just talk at you guys so as you have questions and whatnot i'm um, just unmute yourself to talk so we just kind of minimize some of that background noise um first thing i wanted to talk about is the loyalty membership and um, you know depending on how long you've been with us Early on, it was when people would order their pack or their, their single band or family pack or premium pack, whatever they came in on, they would, could sign up for loyalty right in the same all one swoop. So everybody got, they got their loyalty membership right away. Now that it's that two-step process, we're noticing some people not getting on loyalty because you do have to go back in and get it. And sometimes I think people just don't know to go back in and do that. So I really wanted to drive home also the, the significance of that. And they did a really good job at the event of it. But the loyalty membership is our residual income here. Like we, of course, <coughs> see those amazing and people continue to buy that. But the but one of the best parts about this industry is to be able to create residual income. I need to just make sure it's the chat. Okay. Um, it's to be able to create residual income. And we'll have that from the app store, but also the, this loyalty membership. Um, and I'm going to kind of demonstrate out the significance of that here. And everybody that's doing this as a business needs to be on loyalty. Yes, it's not a requirement, but it's a requirement to have someone on loyalty in order to stay active. So again, that whole duplication thing, what you do duplicates. So if you, how can you ask other people to be on loyalty if you're not? And plus that you get $75 every month. And now that they've designed it, so this is going to be the only way you get the Infolio phone, it's kind of a no-brainer then too because that's, you know, you're going to be being loyal to the company, you'll be able to use your points towards getting that phone, which I'm just super thankful that we've had it because we have enough points to get one of the phones now. So now it's going to be a coin toss, probably, to who gets that phone. But I'm going to draw out for you guys. Katie's uh, laughing. Let's be real. I'm going to get the phone. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, right? <laughs> So from a residual income perspective, you guys, um, this loyalty membership, and they've, and you maybe have heard for if you've seen my webinars or if you've heard it on another webinar, across the board in this industry, when other companies like, like Rodan and Field, you know, you get your monthly skincare, um, a lot of the health, health and wellness companies, you get your vitamins or your shakes and whatnot, um, the retention on those auto ship programs, which that's what people want is because that's that leveraged income that they've, they've got the customer and now they don't have to do more work to get, get continue that revenue stream every month. Um, it's 10 to 12%. 
here at World, because of how they've designed it, they've called this a revolution in this space because it's not more product that people are getting, which that's typically why somebody unenrolls from their auto ship because they're just, oh gosh, I haven't used up last month's stuff yet. And I know I have, I'm paying shipping costs on something I have too much of or I, do, I don't really need. You're getting more money here. So we have a 78% retention rate. So, and it's creating retention to our company also because of now what they've done with that in folio phone. So we're gonna hold this for a second so you don't right. have a. So that's what I get. <laughs> this is what I get called in for to be the easel here, so. All right, so like, over the last, so we've been here with World since February. So right now we have an organization of a little bit over 700. You know, in the next few years, we our goal is to have an organization of 10,000 people just in the next three years. And of course, that'll continue to grow. But just using that as an example, so if we have 10,000 people in the organization and on loyalty, loyalty is 30 sales volume every single month. Are you able to see that? Does that work okay? Go a little darker, Leah, if you don't mind. Let me see if I have a black one. Is it empty though before you? Yeah, there you go. So it's 30 sales volume that you get in the binary every month, okay? Um, and 30 sales volume, or excuse me, so that's 30, 300,000 sales volume. Okay, and then you get, once you're team builder partner, you get paid out 20% of your sales volume. So times 20%, this equals $60,000. Okay, we build out two teams, so let's say it's half and half. Okay, so two teams divided this by two, that's $30,000 every month in residual income just from the loyalty membership. Okay, so that's why this is so, so important. You want everybody to get on this. So don't forget to have the conversation. It's a no-brainer. Everybody that's in the business is on it. Then you'll always, don't have to worry about staying active. You'll always be active because your first person role will get on it as well. And you never want it to go away or you never want to get inactive. I'm taking that. Because if you go inactive, even just for one month, that your, your money box is gonna flush to zero. Okay, so you always definitely wanna stay active there. So I wanted just to make sure you, everybody understands the gravity of that, the loyalty membership, okay? I think that, I just, I wanna interject here. I just think the biggest part, and I know you touched on it, is just the fact that if we're all in here to build a business, um, it's just a way of, it's like a savings account where it just builds your points and you get that added, you know, 59 and then you get 75 in your back office. Um, but like Leah said, we, we have enough points now where we've been on long enough. So once they release that phone, we'll get to use that phone and we should all be using all of our products. Um, when the new Hilo comes out, we should be all getting that. We should all have the phone so we know the functions and everything that's involved with it. I mean, just as business builders, how can you go to somebody and say, you should check out this in folio phone. It's great. Oh yeah. How is it? Well, I have my iPhone here. So, so yeah. So just that alone, I think is great. Um, and also just, yeah, the residual income is, is key component. So, and you'll save money on this stuff too, because you're getting 75 for 59. Right. So, um, if you guys, if anybody has canceled theirs and you reach down into your teams, cause I know we don't have everybody on here, obviously 50 people, um, reach down into your teams. If anybody canceled their loyalty membership, um, because you know, just like not understanding it or, then when one of those places where Kim, oh my gosh, <laughs> like I like have a cigarette in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> <That's it. laughs> like, I didn't do a double take. The pen, got it. <laughs> um, they got off of it because they're like, oh, you know, everyone's why I've heard. I've been paying for loyalty for a month, but I haven't got my helos. And that was kind of earlier on and not understanding that they really have nothing to do with each other. Right. So if anybody ha in your teams happen to have gotten off of it, tell them they have, they think five days now to go back and get on it and they won't have lost any of that, the, those points that they, for, for not having been active, they'll get it back. So definitely reach down to anybody you've enrolled and say, hey, just so you know, you have this five day period, kind of explain to them the benefits of it and see if they want to get back on the loyalty plan. 
um, in full. And so we kind of talked about the infolio then that's because a lot of people have been asking that question is when can we get the infolio? It's only going to be used or you can only get it based from your loyalty points. Um, that Hilo fit, you guys, that's going to be, that's like the most upcoming thing. Like it's good within a couple weeks, we should have that app and it's going to create such leverage. There's early on when we got started, I know some of the first people on my list were some of our local gym owners, like the, the guy that people that I do CrossFit with. But at the time, this wasn't really a fitness device. It was much more of a health monitor. So it was just like, ah, cool. But now that we're going to have this, you know, my list, I'm going to be going back to my list now and those people that I've reached out to early on that I'm like, oh yeah, this, okay, they're not interested because it doesn't have that fitness stuff capabilities right now. Um, those are people you're going to definitely want to swing back to, okay? So that's, make sure as you're updating that list, that should be an ever fluid moving list of the, that you're working from. Swing back and hit those people. I'm probably going to wait until I have that app to have that conversation though, so it's not still, well, it's coming. <laughs> I'm going to just wait, but just kind of make sure you have those people, those resources and those people kind of ready to, to dig into. Um, the blood glucose. That's another big one because I know everyone was anticipation of information of this with us going into Vegas. And we didn't get like that here. It's being released to now. It's you're going to go home and you're going to have that. There will be an app download that you can use this functionality now. Um, and I, I understand why they did that. It's very, very strategic. So if you guys um, kind of you've looked at the app, and again, we talked about it on the presentations, but it's when um, Toshiba mentioned or launched the Hilo at the CES last year that the stock did a major, major spike. So now they're strategically waiting till the CES to make a very public announcement of that blood glucose capability because of what that will do for the stock and because it's such a public place uh, and uh, a world worldwide event um, that everybody around the world knows about the CES, that that's it's just going to create a, a lot of um, give us a lot of traction. The fact that we're we're gonna, we're going to be at that event, so that's why they've done that. So if anybody's like, why it's why are we waiting again for the blood glucose? That's why. Okay, that's the biggest thing of it is to make that very public launch for us. So it's still something you leverage that like that, that piece of information that we're going to be there and that's where it's going to be. Um, and on that, I, this is something I was going to show a little bit later as far as something we're going to do differently. But since we're kind of on that topic, I'm going to share, show it now. <coughs> so in the first day when we were in Vegas um, was the diamond and above trading and Chad Chong kind of showed us, you know, some of the ways that they talk to people um, when they're trying to show about the business and, you know, make sometimes bigger conversations or whatnot. And they do this. Um, and I found like, this is, I'm going to, I actually did this today with somebody. Um, just go have them Google W if they're like, I've never heard of this company or PC or you're getting the sense that they think that maybe we're just small peanuts or just this like whatever company, just pull up the stock for them and kind of show them here. And you can see here that this in January is the last CES convention. It was right after that, that it did that big, big jump. And here was kind of the announcement of the infolio. And so there, that's again, now that we're going to do this big, major, major announcement in January again. And then when you can compare it, say, and if you pull up it, comparing it to Apple stock, because sometimes people are like, oh, why does it go down? Well, all stocks typically go up and down. And then you can kind of compare it to what Apple has done. Um, what that also does is it shows that you're comparing um, world to Apple. Like they are um, equal players, you know, one's network marketing, one's a big tech company, but now it's in their, in their mind mentally, it's up leveling that we're comparable to Apple. So kind of can kind of compare the two and show that way. I thought that was a really good thing to do too. And today it gave, I was talking to the CEO of a company and he's like, he pulled it up right as we're talking. He's like, huh, okay. All right. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You need the phone. You want the phone. Oh, no. Got it. So that way I thought was kind of cool. So that's something else you guys can do too. Um, let's see. The world app, um, the TD bonus pool. I'm just going to, for the rest of that kind of stuff, I want to just open it up. And if I know some of you guys have done some smaller meetings like this already, but does anybody have any questions on the update that we can speak to? Just go ahead and unmute yourself. If anybody needs anything clarified on any of those topics at all. 
for the Hilo, um, the Hilo dot life app, do you have to be part of the Hilo dot life website to get access to that? Yes. Yeah, okay. you will. Cause then I think you can, you'll just be able to, you can send the videos, but if you want any sort of the metric tracking, like to see when they opened it or, um, for even the getting started to get the feedback of somebody fills out the questionnaire that needs to be linked to you personally. So then yes. Okay. And that's like a $40 a month fee, correct? And I haven't been, I haven't got that clarified if you can do it on the $20 one or the for, for all of them. I'm not, okay. does anybody, has anybody yes, asked you can. one? I know that. You can. Okay. You can do it on the $20 because I have it and I have the app. Perfect. There you go. Perfect. Thank about, you. Yeah, no problem. What about so, the world app? And I just downloaded that today. Are you, are you have a specific question about it? I, I couldn't find it. Yeah, the, I, so I, I have the, I, an iPhone, so I haven't been able to download the Hilo app yet. Um, She's talking about the world. I know. World. Leah, if you have an iPhone, you have to type in World Global Network in the App Store, and then it'll pop up. The Hilo.life phone does? Or? Oh, I thought they were talking about the world app. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yes. The other way you can find Thank the world you. app is if you go to uh, Tanya's post on Strong Living, and both links are there for Droid and Apple. And some way with the iPhone, you. Is able to download it? Yep, I just put it, the Apple one on my phone. Okay. Awesome. Is it the world or the... The world app, yeah. Yeah. So I just started playing with that world app today. Um, and it seems like it has some similar capabilities to what the Hilo.life one will. Um, but definitely not as good of tracking. But you can kind of you can send videos through your contacts and whatnot. Um, but it seems pretty cool. So are we talking about two different two different apps is that what we're talking about we're talking about the world app and the helo.life app which uh is that the ones that don't track your uh, the dna and all that, is that what uh, you're talking about? The, this doesn't have anything to do with the dna okay um, i'm so getting obvious. confused what we're talking about <laughs> there will probably when we make it the dna stuff will be in 2018 sometime and that okay. um okay, so are we just talking about the marketing sites then there's a Hilo.life app that is right. yes, through your marketing. I have site. that. Yeah, I have that. And then there is a world app um, that's through, it's corporate. It's, so it gives you access to your back office. It's, it has like the comp plan, uh, okay. all the different resources that you would maybe want to send out to somebody. You have okay, so people. now that one is, is that the one? Okay, because um, the Hilo.life is only on the computer. It's not on your phone because there's no, it's not really an app, correct? Nope, they did create an app now for it. Oh, uh, okay. So then the world app is a is that an addition to or is that besides the Hilo Dot No, it's an addition to. So this is the world app. I don't can see right there on the bottom. Does anybody okay. have the Hilo Dot Life app? They can flash up on their <laughs> yeah, see I don't have that one on my phone, but I have it on my computer. So yeah, I didn't know it was on the, on, you could be, have it on phone. Yeah, sure. So what would be ben, the benefits of having both? Um, Do we need both? The Hilo dot life, there you go. It's Krista, the one that says Krista. Yep. Right, there. right there. Looks like a little cog. Yeah, says, oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Or something. Yeah. Okay. So the Hilo dot life one will be for that sending out the two and the seven minute video and tracking like your prospects and it'll tell okay. you like, opened it and it'll give you that suggested verbiage for people maybe that are nurses or a friend acquaintance business person that kind of thing okay world app will give you access to your back office it will have like the red plan documents if you need to send somebody out like oh what's they're asking what what's the difference in the red plan to the blue plan and you need to shoot them out the blue plan that will be done through your world app Okay, so it's just a, an app, meaning a shorter version, versus us going into our actual um, website, uh, back office on like a website. Yeah, it just it integrates with your contacts. You can more easily. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I don't even think are okay. you able to go to your back office from your iPhone. Yeah, I can, but I just type in my uh, like I was on my computer, and I go into my back office. That's what I do all the time. That's why I was not sure what you're talking about the world app because I go in there on my phone. Anyway, there's just certain capabilities that didn't work in the back sure. office, but this one, okay. it, it syncs with your contacts. Okay. That, that makes sense. Okay. 
Yes. So where is that? Where is that download for the uh, for the for the Apple phone again, Leah? <clears throat> for the Hilo Life app or the World app? Both. Both. On um, the Hilo Life app, I've been told it's Hilo Life forward slash app, right? Can anybody confirm? Yep, Katie confirms that. Okay. Um, okay. and then the World app. I think I just you look search World Global Network on the Apple app or the Google Play Store. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Thanks. You're welcome. When you go, um, when you're, and I did that today, I went to world global network and I, there's several things that come up. So I didn't know what app I was looking for. But there's where I want the world app that looks like the little cog tool machine. Like she showed. That's the helo.life. Oh, that's the healer that life one. And we can probably show you this. Wanda, after we can connect with you directly and show you that. Make sure you get that after. Okay. Hey, Thank you. hey Leah. Yeah. Leah. They said I was on the Diamond Zone today, and Jeremy Roma did a big training, and he was saying that with the the twenty or the thirty dollar Hilo dot life site. You have limited number of texts you're allowed to send and the not as many messages on those. So to get the full unlimited texting ability and to have all of the different text verbiages, you need to be on the $40 plan. Gotcha. You, you still have eight people, you still get it for free, is that still? Yeah, with the $39 one also, which is what a lot of us do, um, once you have 10 people sign up from your site, then you're, you get it free for a year. So then if, you, if you're looking at not wanting to be limited on your messages then, since that's new information, um, and then plus if you're building, then you'll, you know you'll have people signing up and enrolling with, for your, from your site, that might be one you want to consider. Leah. I yeah. downloaded the um, World app, and it will not let me log in. Isn't it? Is it the same username and password as yeah. your regular? It won't. It doesn't tell me anything is wrong. It just won't let me get in. Okay, for anything like indiv specific, individual specific, grab me after this. Send me a message, and we'll help figure that out, just so we can respect everyone's time. Um, but it is. That's what I did. I put in my username and password from that. I log in on my computer. And if we're not a part of that $40 marketing thing, if we search the Hilo.life, it won't even show up, will it? Because I can't even find that, but I'm not a part of the $40 a month thing. Um, I'm not sure what you mean. Like when I go into the app store or like Tanya posted a link for it, it's not even showing up. Like that wheel thing isn't even showing up as an option to download as an app. Well, that shouldn't, that wouldn't have anything to do with if you didn't sign up online or not. If you're just doing a search in the app store, that wouldn't affect that at all. So we'll just have to I figure out what we I think that's because um, it wasn't available for iPhone for like two days, but Android it was right away. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah, it's just like I haven't even downloaded it yet. Last time I checked, it wasn't there. Yeah. So if, you have, if you have an iPhone, I don't think you can download it today. I think you might have to wait a day or two. Yeah. All right, so any other questions about any of the announcements, anything that came out of Vegas? Yes. Can I ask you something, Leah? Yeah, yeah. The, the loyalty program where you said they have, you know, if they got inactive, you know, they have five a five day period to get active again. Mm -hmm. Obviously from the day they got inactive, right? So what if if they miss the five days? I mean, you can, you can always get active again, can't you? Yes, but you'll just start over with zero point. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they can go in and sign up tomorrow kind of thing. Okay. Absolutely. Good question. Also, that Diamond Hot Life holiday, this was the first time that I've actually heard some definitive a month for it and the, the qualification time range. So any, if, as long as you hit Diamond four times between – June of this year and March of next year, they're going to do an all expense paid trip to Punta Cana in um, April. That's huge. Only four times. Like I was, last time I it used to be five that they were staying for a while, but it sounds like it's just four. And I thought we only had till the end of the year, but we have till March. So that's really good too. Um, 
Do they have a date for that trip yet? April, just April. Just a month. Oh, so you could hit it and be. Huh. Yeah, and you have until March to, to qualify for it. Okay, so if and any other questions? All right. I know what you're laughing at, Katie. <laughs> Bobby, you're snoring. <laughs> we got we got Darth Vader on here somewhere. It's time. I was gonna call you and tell you you're snoring, and every time you come on the screen. Hey, Bobby, wake up! <laughs> who's there? Who's come there? On, who's there? Come on, man! This is WGN. We're we're world changers, man. Get up, uh, come on now. I'm changing my head one small at a time, on, okay? It's all good. It's all good. Trust me, we just not an uncommon thing. We'll move on topics, Bobby, for you, okay? That, that, was, that wasn't me. That was my bulldog. Okay. All good. All good. <laughs> all right. So the next thing then we want to kind of move into is what we're going to do going forward. And also we've talked a little bit with some of our leaders because um, the next 90 days is going to be really, really huge. Um, and it's going to have an, a great impact on what 2018 does for you because it's going to be the biggest year for World Global Network so far between the release of the blood glucose in January, now with this DNA stuff coming, that new, our new, the Hilo LX2 with the digital face and the full functioning IoT or Internet of Things to where it won't even cut me, you won't even need your phone anymore for our device. So there's going to be so many things that come out that the, the more you do in these next 90 days, the greater that impact that's going to have on your business then, obviously, because the more people you have out there bringing these things to the world when they all launch. Um, so we just, we kind of power out a little bit. We need to kind of iron it out a little bit more, but what we're going to do differently in the next 90 days to really, really kind of bring this thing home and rank advance and kind of make a, you know, a, just do, do something a little bit differently this time. And I know some of our leaders are going to share as well. Um, but just a couple things. Um, do you want to kind of share a little bit what, how you've decided, what we've decided for us? Yeah. Well, like I said earlier, what my, one of my biggest takeaways was how I love Moss's quote. If you feel good, you'll do good. And I think that speaks volumes for, um, especially this industry because you really have to ha be feeling good to really succeed. And I think actually with any profession, you really, um, you need that as well. Um, but in the past, you know, like let's say two, three months ago, Lee and I would sit down and we're like, the same situation as we're doing now. We need to do a run. We need to do a run. Like this is going to be huge and we need to get our act together. And, and then we maybe are working harder, but we're not, we're not organized and we're not tracking anything. It's just kind of like we say it, but we're not, uh, we're not backing it up. And I think what, what's our team right now? Like 700 people. I mean, we should have multiple people, um, exploding and, and what, we need to find a way to, um, and I don't mean to go into our program yet, more of like you being, okay. getting back engaged. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what I'm getting at. That's what I'm getting at. So, um, but yeah, so anyways, what happens is, is you get excited, especially like coming out of an event, right? You, everybody's excited and, and we're all pumped up and it feels like traditionally speaking, it just after like maybe two weeks, it'll kind of fade away. We get caught up in life, stress hits us, and then we just lose our focus really easy. And once we lose our focus, maybe our downline loses our focus and it's just a, it's just a trickle effect. So we're trying to think of ways to really stay engaged and motivated and do it as a team. Um, and so I don't know if you want to keep doing yours. Talking. What I, where I was thinking you were going is because he, he has two businesses also and being been very busy with those. And when leading us, when we first got started and leading up to Diamond, like it was us. It was us as a, we're doing it together. Um, and then, but his business has suffered a little bit. So then for the last four months or so, he's been back engaged with that. But now like we know that we know the significance of these next 90 days and it's yes, those businesses might, are going to have to suffer again a little bit, but the gravity of not going all out a hundred percent of the next 90 days, um, there's a lot on the line to lose. So he's yeah, uh, limiting the photo shoots. He's going to be booking now. Like he's like going to be passing off jobs. Like it's just like all in on world again for the next 90 days, you guys, because the gravity of this is so significant. And that kind of is what I was saying about the, 
about the events how we just we get focused and that was what we did too and we really wanted to push for that diamond run that's what we did like I, I stepped away from my other businesses and I really focused um, I was in here with Leah every night till I mean there was like one in the morning nights that we were on calls and, and, and doing launches for people and I mean it was exhausting but that's when we got our biggest and best results and we we like crushed it in like a matter of a week or two and then we had our success and then we celebrated and then you just lose focus again and it's just it's such it's such a frustrating cycle i never lost focus <laughs> it was <a> fun. <laughs> yeah. even back to your businesses what i did and what i want to i want to instill into all you guys that's learning from my mistake is I went into management mode for the team. I went into just helping everybody else, which is a huge part of this. You absolutely, obviously we want to help our team members get started, but you always have to stay in zone one and continue to personally enroll. And I think that's the number one reason we're not presidents yet is because for three months I, I wasn't focused. No <laughs> I enroll, we enrolled people every once in a while, but I wasn't, pushing I, wasn't, I wasn't focused on it. So I, now we've definitely been back engaged and I think it's in mode. I mean, people are still in the last couple of weeks and whatnot, but it's, so it's coming back around. That's, that's me focusing on it for the last six weeks or so, because you're just you're planting those seeds. <coughs> some of them are starting to grow into trees. So, um, so some of the other things that we're going to do differently now, um, a bigger social media pre presence, definitely, because that's so, so huge. I think every single month, somebody has come to me that has said, all right, I'm sick of watching you on Facebook. I need to know more about this. And I had no idea they were ever watching. They've never commented or liked a thing. They're, so they're just they're just ghosts in yeah. the background. Yeah. So I'm just like every and every time since I'm like, see, that's why I need to do more. I need to do more. We're not doing enough. So definitely gonna see a bigger social media presence. Um, we're gonna have definitely six diamonds by January, without a doubt. I know that and I'm pretty confident those are on this team already. Um, we're gonna be personally enrolling 25 more people. Um, one of the again, how are we gonna get there? We're gonna, there was a good call that Masio did a while back on one of his Sunday afternoon calls, and um, I can't think of the gal that was on it, but she does a 50-50-50 system. That's crazy. I'm gonna go with 20-20-20, but it's creating 20 new conversations every day, so you're at least new seeds. Um, 20 follow-ups then, so the first number is new conversations, the second number is follow-ups, and then the third number is team connections. So my number is going to be 20 every single day of the week for the next 90 days. Because if I do that, there's absolutely no reason we're not going to hit our goals. Okay, so fine for you guys if that's something that's like, oh, I like that method or I like that, you know, you like some sort of structure. Um, I find a number that's going to work for you. And, that, you know, it's that many new conversations, that many new, that many follow-ups from conversations already started, and then that many um, connections I'm going to make with my team. And, of course, it's going to vary a little bit based on your <laughs> team size, but it will grow. <coughs> and then I already showed you kind of a little bit of leveraging the stock stuff a little bit more. So those from a little bit, we've talked a little bit. Those are the, some of the things we're going to do differently. We also kind of came up with a game plan to help you all as well. But before we go into that, I want to open it up a little bit. To, um, I know I talked to CNN and Sierra already this afternoon, but anybody else also that would, wouldn't mind add, adding to what their, excuse me, um, and Katie, y'all, the names all go together. So whoever wants to go first. Um, to kind of what they're going to do us for the next 90 days differently or what they came out of the event or whatever. I'll go, Leah. Okay, hey, go ahead. Um, I would like you guys, because obviously this was Ryan's first event, so I want everyone to kind of hear as well from him and what his takeaways were. I can tell you um, personally, again, the mentorship and leadership and just having that reminder. I posted at like midnight last night in Strong Living because I was like, I have to share with you guys what I had taken out of it on that piece. So that live that I did was because I needed you to know that it shouldn't take an event for us to understand how truly incredible our leadership is in this company. And um, I just wanted you guys to all have that piece. But at the same time, like Sam and Leah said, it has to be saying in phone one. Um, I have been in management mode literally since summer started. And I've been trying so hard to get everyone else um, to want to be where I wanted them to be versus maybe where they were ready to be and or um, so much. Will you guys mute your lines, please? Thank you. Um, and so just kind of um, staying in zone one. Maya had already picked numbers before Leah had said hers, and I had picked 20, 20, 10, which I think is a good number, especially because with Leah going 20, 20, 20, she has, I mean, 70% bigger team than I do. <laughs> Or 700%, I mean, just 
<laughs> so I think um, for my numbers, I'm going to be 20, 20, 10 each day. Um, but again, just staying in zone one and doing my best to lead by example because I have been so in management mode that I haven't been focusing on my own recruiting and leading my team by example in that way. So that's my next 90 days. Um, my goal is to be president. Um, I know Leah said she's going to take six new diamonds with her, but she's going to have to plan on a president because I <laughs> think <Ooh. you. laughs> that's um, what we want. <laughs> that is, um, that's my goal. And they said when we had started this, this company, they said, you can do that in 90 days. So I told my team today, what I'm doing is I'm taking the getting started app and I am watching that 557, I'm starting brand new as if today is my very first day ever in the company. I'm filling that form out. And I got that from Sienna, by the way, today. So it doesn't matter where you are in this organization, you can learn from everyone on this team. And um, because that's what she did. And I said, that's awesome. I'm sending it to my team. And that's what I'm doing. Today starts day one. We have 90 days. And when I started in April, I said I was going to give myself 90 days in this company. I hit diamond in eight weeks. And now I've been stuck in management mode. So done. Zone one, two president, 90 days. And I'm taking whoever wants to come with me. <laughs> Just, you know. See, that's the focus you need. Yeah. And confidence. We got this. I'm with you there, Katie. I'm with you. <laughs> All right. I'd love to hear Ryan's two cents from being at his first event with World. Oh, thanks for calling me out, Leah. <laughs> it was good. It was good. Not like anything I've ever been to, for sure. I would say the... The biggest takeaway is whatever it takes. Do whatever it takes. And when you hear what, well, first of all, you have to get diamond. You have to, because that gives you access to get behind the scenes with guys like Romasio. And now when you're at a bar in a VIP area where it's quiet, there's not a lot of people, you're only there because you're allowed to be because you have access as a diamond. And he tells you, you, you can ask him anything you want. And, and I chose to say, how'd you do it? He said, I did whatever it takes, which to me meant I gave nobody more than 24 hours. I didn't care who they were, how big a fish they were. If, if they weren't bought into me, I moved on. That's how I got my numbers. So there's a clear difference between ranking up and, and making money, sales volume. But you have to rank up enough to get that access. And then the other rank ups are for whatever the, the toys they're giving out this quarter or whatever else, right? But you have to get that access. And then you get the, the knowledge that they pour into you. But the biggest thing was just Ramasio saying, I don't give anyone 24 hours, but I do whatever it takes. That means he doesn't sleep if he doesn't need to. And if uh, a lot of people have had success lately with Uber drivers, if, if you're one out of 10 with Uber drivers, then your Saturday should just be taking a three block Uber 30 <laughs> times. And that's a write off. <laughs> and then your lunch break should be with your waitress and bartender. And that's a, a write off. So I guess the whatever it takes is just really what's sunk in with me. If you wanna make that kind of crazy money, uh, First of all, you have to have access to the people that can give you the information to get you there. And to hear guys like Steve Carter say, if you're trying to land a big fish or a small fish, I don't care who it is, call me. Here's my cell phone number. Call me. I will FaceTime with you at that moment. That's, that is only possible because you have access to those people. So Diamond is, is just, you're in it. Awesome. Yeah, that was my takeaways. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, Ryan. I'll totally echo the Uber. Like, we had three in our search going to the convention center, and all three of them were like, yeah, send me the video. I mean, they're always open. Yeah. I mean, drivers are, like, the easiest. <laughs> and think about it, too. Another pitch that you can give Uber, Uber drivers is that they have clients and customers sitting right in there waiting to hear from them. So they have nowhere to go. They're driving them to their destination, then they can make their pitches that way. So, um, yeah. And then I want to just say on top of that, you guys being in Las Vegas and it's like a huge melting point. So I talked to this with my team last night, but I want to share with all of you is that the more people you talk to, the more you'll realize that 
no one knows about this. Like, it's crazy because you come out of, like for us, coming out of East Grand Forks or Grand Forks and Lee and Sam bringing this and you think, oh, everyone's heard of it or everyone sees it on your Facebook page or, oh, I just saw so-and-so post about it. We were in Vegas. No one we talked to had heard about it. We went to kiosks. We went to businesses. We walked the forum shops for two hours before we got on our airplane. And we just talked to any managers, business owners, kiosk owners. We grabbed cards from anyone we could. No one had heard about it. And we just had an international convention across the street. Like, it's huge, but it's not as big as we feel it is. Mm -hmm. So I really want you guys to realize when you get yourselves out there, you start to talk to people or you start to share on Facebook and people start to see what you're doing. Not everyone knows. Even in your Facebook world, you guys, if you have a thousand friends on Facebook, Facebook's algorithm, algorithm, however the frick you say, algorithms, algorithm. yes, yeah. is only going to allow 200 of your thousand people to see that post. Mm -hmm. So you have to realize that the more you're out there and the more you're willing to talk to people, the more, we're, we're having popcorn in a movie. This is, <laughs> and why? Because who said it, Leah? Uh, Mike Sims, because what you aim, entertain yourself with is what you train yourself with. So if we're going to sit here and watch TV and eat popcorn all night, guess what? That's what we're going to learn and that's what we're going to take in. So we are training you ourselves with you guys. There you go. <laughs> we'll provide um, so I'm sorry. I'll go on forever. But please just know that it really hasn't touched really anywhere yet. And there is m billions of people out there waiting for an opportunity. Peace. I'm out. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right, yeah. Hey, everybody. Um, I think just some takeaways from this weekend, and just kind of to add with what Katie was saying too, just the energy from all of the leaders in the room. And Sierra and I, and a couple of our other business partners, were VIP, but we were like three rows back from like the red line. It was like, oh, just to get up to be with those leaders to take pictures and just to be next to them. That is like my number one goal. And I mean, the, the energy in the room was so powerful. And just to hear the people speak like, wow, she totally, the 18 year old from, help me out, is it Thailand? Thailand, yeah. I mean, just hearing all these different stories and hearing them in person other than on Zoom call like we do because that's how we grow our business, I think is super powerful. So um, one of the big takeaways I wanted to share with you guys was Van and Twan, Twine, Twan, Twan. Twan, sorry. They talked about <clears throat> there was two buildings, right? And so envision yourself at the very top of the building and there is a tight rope across the building, right? And so this is a very, very, very tall building. And at the end of that tightrope is, um, she had asked the audience, if there was a thousand dollar bill across that tightrope, would you walk across it? And I'm kind of like, yeah, maybe, you know? And then the next question she asked, you know, if, is the, if there's a hundred thousand dollars across that tightrope, knowing you could fall off, it could, you know, kill you, would you still do it? I'm like, me? Yeah, whatever it takes, I would like go across that rope. And immediately right after that, because then her next breath, she said, I mean, nobody's going to kill themselves over $100,000. And I'm like, okay, yep, I raise my hand over that. Oh, yeah. But the next aha moment for me was when she said, envision yourself that your family is on the other side of the building and you're on one side and you have to get across that tightrope and that building is on fire where your family was. And immediately tears just fell down my face. And see what has happened with me is I've set goals before me and I'm hitting the ground running, but I've been putting a number sign across that building. And I think I've been putting myself in a small little box of where my goals are. And as soon as I put, she helped us to envision our family on that other side, it was game over for me. So now what I'm running for isn't necessarily a dollar amount, but just to hit, run for my family for the goals to hit. Um, and I think for me, my big goals are for my team to see them hit TD because that's where all the magic happens. I mean, yes, it happens with diamonds, but to start with each of them to hit TD to get the check matching and open up the whole compensation plan for them to get a paycheck. And now with this bonus on the table, mm -hmm. to me, it's game over. So <laughs> I, of course, when your team starts making money, of course, then you benefit from it as well. But I think for, we just signed on a guy from Kenya and I asked him yesterday, what are your goals? Like in the next 30 days, like give me a dollar amount what your goals are. And 
I said, you know, for, he's like not really understanding. So well, like for me, my goals were about $5,000 to help pay for our kids private school and so forth. And he said, no, no, no dollar amount. Me just help 10 people get a paycheck. And I'm like, game over. That's where the heart is, you know? And so, um, I just, that's my goal is, I mean, of course, diamond in the next 30 to 60 days and double diamond before we, um, hit can, <clears throat> our event in January. But, um, yeah, I just think the biggest thing is to see others get a paycheck. So awesome. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for letting me share. Yeah. Suzanne, are you on here? Did you want to share it all? And we didn't get to touch this afternoon. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Um, I have to show you what JC drew on my whiteboard real quick. Can you see? Can you see that big black blob? blob? Yeah. What is it? She's just like duplicating what I do. It's so funny. Aww. Did she see me draw the circles, you know? <laughs> I thought it was funny. She was sitting here doing it while we were talking. Gotcha. Um, Training our young. Oh yeah, my when yeah. I were on Zoom, they're like my boys, are like, "What are you doing talking to Seville and Rachel?" I'm like, "You don't even know who that is." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. I mean, a lot of what the girls have said is pretty much the same for me. I think the main thing for me was just my um, belief got even stronger than it it was, just because that was the first time that I had uh, you know heard Fabio in person. Um. I've always borrowed like Leah and Tanya's belief. Um. You know. But I mean, and I know I've always had it, but it, it just got like when he stood up there and talked about how he wants to help people and, you know, really help people with financial freedom. Like that was a huge, a huge one for me. Um, and then, of course, like being the first time for me being up front um, and, you know, being at the front of the room and having access to everything was just amazing and diamond training and all that. Um, just, you know, really excited that I could, um, have that experience, um, and just makes me want it more for my team to be up there with me and with us because like just the access that you have is just great, you know, just unbelievable. Um, and then I think too, for me, just being more intentional about my goals and writing them down. Like I always have them at JC, um, and just having that, you know, I just always have them in my head. And I don't write them down and really focus on them. Um, and just stick to a daily routine. Like, I obviously am a stay-at-home mom, so I get really distracted with, like, laundry and cleaning my house and, you know, all the stuff that you're here around. So maybe it's – I think she's trying to be louder than me. Um, <laughs> but, like, maybe I just need to, like, leave my house for a certain period of time to get away from it and just really work. Um, so just kind of figuring that out, like what works for me. Um, and then obviously I've been total management mode as well. Um, haven't been personally recruiting like I used to, and I, I need to get back to that as well. Um, trying to see what else I wrote down. And of course, just like helping new team members get started better and faster because like, I feel like we enroll people and then like it kind of gets lost. And I think the recent training that we've had from Ramasio with getting people started, um, you know, faster. And now that we have the whole TD pool and everything, like I feel like everything's that's really going to help people go quicker. Um, and so that's like my main focus too, is just helping the team, you know, get going better and faster. So. For sure. Yeah. Between that pool and then the new getting started app, <laughs> Like it's like game over <laughs> and then here's exactly how you send a text message yeah. to share the two minute video like as long as you're willing to take the time to put your fingers to work this everything's been done for you now it's just absolutely incredible thank you Suzanne for that's sharing awesome that. and I think I'm seeing a trend here so. everyone is getting stuck in management mode once they hit a certain rank because they just again we we, we get we get lax in so, something like we're just not doing what we used to do and that was just hit recruit, recruit, recruit. And, um, you're seeing it from all these diamonds talking here. So, yeah. So those that are up and coming, <laughs> learn from them. Learn from us. Well, that went ahead of you. Uh, okay. So what we want to kind of wrap up with is what we've kind of put together a game plan and it's an idea. And I want to hear from you guys if you, if this would be of value to you, cause it's definitely, it's for our team, not necessarily for us. So we want to hear from you a little bit. And part of it comes also is from, we have a team of over 700 people now, and you've heard us all talk about management mode and all that. And one of the highlights and key points coming out of um, the diamond training is they said that the biggest mistake that diamonds make 
is in spending time with the wrong people. And I can tell you that your guys' leadership on this team, the type of people that we are, we don't want to leave anyone behind. We want everybody to want it like we do and want we want your dreams that you've told us achieved. And so we just, no matter what, we want to pull you along. And that's not going to serve any of us. That's not going to help us get to our goals. We have to spend the time working with people that truly want it and are, want to put in the work to kind of getting there and have that same vision um, of where we're going. Um, and that's, they've just said, make sure you're investing your time with people that have that same vision. And, and, and kudos to those that have been with us since March, April, and have gone through waiting six, seven weeks to get your product or having to run credit cards for four or five times and getting declined. And we know that we've had some casualties of being a part of a ground floor company, startup company. We've, there's people that, that, that they, before they even got started, they got taken out because they got fed up with the pain in the butt process. For those of you that have just recently joined us, don't be fearful because that's all the things that have that's all stuff that we've grown through. But though I know there's people on here that have been with us for a while and it's, you know, it's, we're, it's a bummer that we have lost some people to some of those things, but you guys have stuck it out and we've, we've ironed out a lot of that stuff and it's not going to be a completely smooth road from here out on out. It, it never will be. We're in technology. There's failure rates. There's, there's dead on arrivals. There's like, we're going to always have challenges, but thankfully we've grown through a lot of it. So I want to just, those, those people that have stuck through that, um, if you continue, like it's smooth, it's for the most part going to be pretty smooth sailing from here. So kudos to you for sticking through that. But we just want to spend that poor, we want to really pour our time into invest into people that have that same vision of understanding where this company is going and wanting to completely transform your family's life. Because we have really big goals for our family. And I know without a shadow of a doubt, we're going to achieve them. But we have to spend our time with the people that want that too. And we'll start no matter what your goals are, we'll start everybody and give everybody the same kind of start but as far as continuing to week on week on week on mentor um, we want people that you know are, are meeting us energy for energy so we want to create a group um, we haven't quite figured out what it's called but 90 days to LA is <laughs> kind of because we are actually night on um, Friday will be 90, 90, days. 90 days exactly in the, the in the industry the industry great say 90 day a 90 day run can completely change your life if you go all in for 90 days so I think we're good. we'll create a separate little Facebook group and we don't want to create extra work for people. This is kind of going to Sam's idea and baby, but um, we just, if you want it, the, the, it's an, basically it'll be an accountability program. So we'll, we're going to create just a little form so we can discern who wants to be a part of it. Um, depending on how many, we might put people into just little pods and each week we will have um, a, basically like assignments. So in it, but it'll be all things that will help you towards your goals. And so we'll have you identify what your goals are, a 30, 60, and 90 day goal, but it'll be things that will, whether it's, you know, talking to 10 people in person, but we'll give you the tools also to kind of with those assignments to how you do that stuff. Um, we want it, Romasio Fulcher, for those that are new, he's our upline and a wonderful mentor of our organization and teaches us when you feel good, you do good. So part, there'll be things intermixed in there about physical activity a little bit and getting out and being in relation also because that's super important. That's one thing that's suffered a little bit here is we don't take time <laughs> to just hang out and do that. And that's so important. And for those of you that aren't working alongside a spouse, I bet you you've been with us for a while and you've been all in like we have. You have a spouse that's like, <sighs> world. <laughs> Because it's been all consuming and it's so important to nurture that relationship to or they're not going to support it at all so and things like that um so we just want to create kind of create that framework so do you guys feel like having that accountability and support is that something that would serve you to have anybody just we can give throw in the chat box yes i'm not sure maybe put it out there we'll see like what are, what are your thoughts do you have anything to add to it yeah i think i'll Sorry, this is kind of his thing, and I'm just talking. Just, so how, how I came about this, too, was I was actually on a call with Ramasio. This was probably, like, maybe three months ago. Um, Leah couldn't be on that call at that time, um, so I was filling in. Um, and he went around, went around the um, table, so to speak, over the phone, but, um, and asked everybody what their goals are, um, and are you serious about it? And that, they had everybody physically say, Yes, 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 I want this, yes, I do. And it was a 30-day challenge at the time. 
And then he challenged everyone to write their goals. Like I'm going to do just kind of like what Leah said, I'm going to do contacts every day. So we all had to physically say how many reach outs we're going to do a day, whether it was two, con two reach outs or if it was 50 reach outs, whatever that number was, we all said it and we committed to that. Um, then he said, there's going to be a, a physical activity. So um, every day you have to do some sort of physical activity. It was very generalized and basic, um, whether it was walking, running, some sort of physical activity, because again, he says, if you feel good, you do good. And what better way to feel good than to get exercise, get motivated. Um, you just, it's just scientifically proven that you feel better when you exercise. So there was that component built in. And then he also had a spirituality component built into it. Um, and whether you have a, a religion or not, is still there is a spirituality part, whether it's just if you don't have any sort of religion, then it would just be more of uh, a meditation time, a time to reflect on, on, your, on uh, how thankful you are, um, something like that if you don't have it. So there was, for that exercise, it was a uh, physical, um, a professional, and a, and a spiritual challenge. And I have to say that there was no accountability to it. And I epically failed this challenge. I lasted like five or six days. I was super excited and then just failed. Um, so I'm trying to tweak this um, process. And, and, you know, that's why when Leah said we're going to try to create like pods or teams. So then you have like a little team of people that can motivate and hold you accountable for things. And what I want to do is I want to create assignments throughout the week and every week will be different. So I don't want it to get stale and boring. So we have new um, challenges or assignments. So it'll be something to look forward to. But another key component to this too is that um, if you don't do it, you get a strike. Um, and there's only three strikes and then you're out. So it's more of, and it is like Leah said, it's an honor program. So we trust that people will be honest with it. But it goes to show that if you're really serious about this, you'll do it. And I am 100% convinced that if everybody does it to its fullest, that we as a team will surge together. And in this industry, you need a team to do it because doing it by yourself, it's, it's, it's not impossible, but it is very difficult to do. Um, so this is the kind of uh, process and strategy that we're going to try to come up with. Um, I think, did you mention some of the, the tasks, whether it's... Uh, well, we'll iron out those details. We just wanted to kind of get a sense that that looks like some, there's some interest. So we'll just put out into the group. I'll create, just create a little Google form, name your goal. Um, and if you, and I, and I see that we've had some people drop out since we've been on. And if you have teammates in your downline or some people that, that you've signed up that you think would benefit as well to it, um, please reach out to them too, because we'd like to start it um by friday so we need everybody's name um in the pool um as well as new recruits monday. this monday. or monday but as soon as possible but um we'd also apply this to new recruits because i think it would be a good way for them to feel a part of something um and have that motivation and, and encouragement too so um as people join, if, if they're really motivated and they want to run fast with it, we can, we can do that too. So, <laughs> yeah. And one thing is, so he can have this idea last night cause he's part of something actually through our church mm -hmm. that has been um, similar and really it's been just motivating to him and been really impactful. But then I was, as I was looking through my notes from Vegas, one of the things also that came out of the diamond training is that the biggest reason why people don't make it here. And it's that because they don't stick with a plan long enough. Persistency will get you there, but consistency will keep you there. So if we actually do this and stick with this for 90 days, everyone will have a whole new business in 90 days from now. Yeah, so and it's we're gonna do, we'll do it. We'll do it for those that are want to that have big goals and also want to or what it doesn't actually it doesn't really matter what your goals are if you just want to be <laughs> consistent with your business. Right. We invite you to come along with us and I'll run this together. So it'll, def it'll definitely challenge you. I can guarantee you that it's, it's, um, it's going to push you. It's going to take you out of your comfort zone. Um, again, like, like Seville says, if nothing changes, then nothing changes. So, um, if we just are continue to be scared about like going live, then, 
we're just going to stay the same course that we've been doing um, the past. So we need that little encouragement and push. And Katie wants to say something? Yeah, go ahead. Yes, please. Okay, so especially for the oats, because I just saw someone just um, wrote a message saying he just heard it five days ago. I want you guys... Mike Sims sat down with us and he said when he started with World Global Network, he's been in numerous companies, multimillionaire from every company he's ever been a part of. He left a seven-figure company, earning company, to come to World. And what he did this time, different from the last few times, was he thought to himself, who are my 10 people that I need? Not the 10 people that need this opportunity or need this company, but who are the 10 people that I need? He's like, I know I'm super unorganized. I need someone who's organization. I know I suck at internet. I need someone who's going to help me on the internet. He's like, I pulled the people in my life that not necessarily needed world in their life, but who I knew I needed to be able to build my business and grow to the extent that I wanted it to. So keep that in mind when you guys are thinking about it and you think, oh, well, I'm going to go after my gym people because of the fitness app, or I'm going to go after so-and-so because of this, whatever the case may be. Do you think anyone in the entire world is thinking, well, I'm going to pick off a police officer? No. So please focus on what would you need to make you better to bring in the attributes that you do not have and bring them into your organization and work together as a team. They might not be the best business builder. They might not grow it the fastest, but they might give you the tool that you need or that you lack to get you to diamond or where you want to be. I hope that makes sense. Yeah, totally. Thank you. And then I would say, we think we had some other questions here. Um, Kristen, 12 week year. In yes. And so there'll be personal development wrapped into this too, because yeah. you can't be successful in this industry to avoiding personal development. Like it's super important, but you can't also every once in a while we meet professional, personal development junkies that know every book out there, but never apply. <laughs> so we have to have that happy medium of putting that into action also. So absolutely. Yeah, um, so. I think Kristen asked, you asked another question earlier about the diamond qualifications. What that means to requalify diamond four times to get that trip, you have to have that 10,000 sales volume where your volume goes up over that amount. And so it means you're a qualified diamond four times between now and June, March to get go on the trip in April. Um, getting started app. Um, is yes, it's do it's you can go to just a generic one helo.life forward slash getting started or through your upline. So, like ours would be slmelquist.helo.life forward slash getting started. Then, when you fill out the questionnaire, it'll come to us. Um, so, you don't want to go to your upline or whoever it is is mentoring you. Sometimes it's not direct your direct upline, uh, maybe it's your upline team developer, diamond, or whoever it is that's kind of coaching you in the business. You'll want to do it from theirs. Anything else? We'll, we'll get, we'll make sure to buy tomorrow. I'll post the link then to kind of say, I want into the group. Um, Cause we'll just welcome everybody to be a whole separate thing for those that want it. And we'll put it out so that you can tell your teams and whatnot. So we can get everybody in. We'll get everybody started by Monday and have the I first have a question. Rhea, real quick. Um, yeah. About the little dot live marketing system. Yep. Um, I know a lot of time, you know, they say that that's a really good tool to use and it does give you good tracking and everything for your contacts. Mm -hmm. However, uh, some of the conversations and threads that I've seen is, um, a lot of people are, let's just say computer challenged and they're not quite.